After strenuous testing and evaluation for several years, the U.S. Army has selected Bell's V-280 Valor as its future long-range assault aircraft. The V-280 Valor tiltrotor aircraft will replace the Sikorsky UH-60 Black Hawk utility helicopter by mid-2030s. The UH-60 Black is in service for more than four decades now. The other contestant in the competition was Defiant X Compound Coaxial Helicopter being a joint project of Sikorsky and Boeing. As per Army's aviation program executive the decision has been made based on the best value proposition after comprehensive analysis of factors like cost, performance, delivery schedule, and maintenance requirements. After the decision, an initial contract worth $232 million has been awarded to Bell for design finalization. The final award is expected to be more than $7 billion to build a fleet of unknown numbers of V-280 Valor. The recent award is a huge sigh of relief for Bell which has no major contract for the service since the development of V-22 Osprey rotorcraft being operated by U.S. Air Force, Navy, and Marines. The company has already made heavy investment to boost its digital design and manufacturing facilities. The U.S. Department of Defense is pursuing the future vertical lift plan to develop the replacements of helicopters like AH-64 Apache, OH-48, UH-60 Black Hawk, and CH-47 Chinook. The FLRA project is a part of FVL plan. The future long-range assault aircraft program is being regarded as the largest acquisition in the history of U.S. Army aviation. The UH-60 Black Hawk was developed in 1980s and is set for retirement by end of this decade. In order to find its replacement for both U.S. Army and Marine Corps, the FLRA program was initiated in 2019. In response, two proposals were received including the SB-1 Defiant X helicopter jointly developed by the Sikorsky and Boeing, and V-280 Valor tiltrotor by the Bell Textron. The competitive demonstration contracts were awarded in March 2020. After testing for years, the service revealed its final decision in favor of V-280 Valor, which is now set to serve U.S. Army, Special Operations Command, and U.S. Marine Corps for many decades. Both the V-280 Valor and SB-1 Defiant X have been evaluated against the key performance criteria set by the U.S. Army and U.S. Marines Corps. The U.S. Army's minimum requirements for the future assault aircraft were unrefueled combat radius of 370 km, speed of 460 km, payload capacity of 1,500 kg, troops carrying capacity of 12 passengers, and teaming up capabilities with the various unmanned systems in the hostile environment. Similarly, the minimum requirements set by the U.S. Marine Corps were unrefueled combat radius of 676 km, cruise speed of 520 km, payload capacity of 2,000 kg, and being the agile platform able to deliver troops in hostile environment while collaborating with unmanned scout systems. The Bell Textron has collaborated with various partners to develop V-280 Valor tiltrotor aircraft. The Lockheed Martin has developed integrated avionics, sensors and weapons of the aircraft, while the flight control system is provided by the Moog Incorporation. The aircraft was designed for cruise speed of 280 knots, hence is named V-280. The tiltrotor has claimed speed of 556 kilometers, range of 3,900 km and combat range of 1,480 km. The maximum takeoff weight of the chopper is 14,000 kg. It is developed based on the V-22 Osprey with retractable landing gears, V-tail configuration, triple redundancy, and fly-by-wire control system. However, unlike the Osprey, the engines of the V-280 remain in place while the rotors and drive shafts tilt. With two 6 feet wide doors, the Valor has length of 15.4 meters, width of 24.93 meters, and height of 7 meters. The composite materials are extensively used in the wing, fuselage, and tail with the aim to reduce cost and increase efficiency. 
It is powered by the two General Electric T64 turboshaft engines, whereas the replacement of engines with Rolls-Royce 1117C engines is also planned. Multiple attack and utility variants of the helicopter will be developed. The V-280 logged around 200 flight hours during the three and a half years of testing phase, and achieved the speed of more than 300 knots. The conventional helicopters are unable to achieve this speed. The rotorcraft also met other performance requirements set by the service under Joint Multi-Role Technology Demonstration Program. The SB-1 Defiant X is a compound helicopter based on the SB-1 Defiant Technology Demonstrator jointly developed by the Sikorsky and Boeing. The SB-1 is powered by the two Honeywell HTS-7500 engines. Same family engines also power the CH-47 Chinook. The development of the aircraft is carried out by the Sikorsky, whereas mission system demonstration was the responsibility of Boeing, and flight control computer is developed by the Collins Aerospace. Around 90% current rotorcraft inventory of U.S. Army comprising of Apache, Chinook, and Black Hawk helicopters is made by the Boeing and Sikorsky. The SB-1 took its maiden flight in 2019. However, it has logged less flight hours than the V-280 Valor due to various developmental complexities related to rotor blades. Please like and share the video, and subscribe the channel for more updates.